So in this video, we're going to look at the concept of a crossover point. So we'll start out with two cost equations which form lines on an XY graphic. With this axis, the X axis being the demand axis and then the Y axis being one of money. So we'll call this line A and then in a different color we'll look at line B. And to take A for example, if we define the total cost of A, we know that that's the fixed cost involved with A plus the, sum, the product of the variable costs involved with A times demand, assuming that demand is the, product, the quantity produced. And so the F for A is this point right here, serving as the Y-intercept, the axis of the Y uh, axis, for that line here. And the same logic uh, applies to the line of B. We just, uh, it'd be total cost of B uh, equals fixed cost times the product of variable costs associated with B times demand. So demand is the independent variable and then the cost is uh, dependent on that demand and then the, fix, the respective fixed costs and variable costs. And so the point, the crossover point, is this point here uh, which corresponds to a demand. And we'll just call that demand of C is where the lines cross over. That means that if demand is less than this quantity, then we would choose A. And, and A could be uh, a, these could be both manufacturers that are manufacturing the same product and we're trying to determine which manufacturer to go with or they could be different products um, in this case we'd have to have the the same forecasted demand uh, for each one so it's probably more relevant when we're talking about the same product we're just trying to choose the right manufacturer so if the if the demand quantity was less than the, this quantity we would choose manufacturer A because that line is lower and that cost is therefore lower. In contrast, if the demand quantity was greater than D of C, then we would choose manufacturer B because that line is lower. So that shows the concept of the crossover point. Again, that is the point at which the two cost lines intersect at this point here it doesn't make a difference which manufacturer we go from uh, this point actually provides us a reference point um, so based on what we think demand is going to be we can choose the appropriate and in this case more cost-effective manufacturer 